Hey there, everybody. Today in class, um, we started out by looking at page 18. So uh, if you were here yesterday, this was part of your homework. So your graph should look like this. Just a little side note, I know that my base is 3, not only because it's here, but when you find the point that has a number 1, the x value is your base. Um, here I've got the number 1, so I know I'm base 10. There we go. And then we just answered these questions. Um, you can have different answers than me. Because it says, what similarities do you see? All right, so these, I noticed the same shape. I noticed they each had an anchor point of one zero. I noticed the third graph was really flat. And so what I um, noticed is the bigger the base, the flatter the curve. Okay, so we started off the day going over our answers. Then, we went to page 25 and we practiced the circle move. So let's do that right now. We can do the circle move. So we've got 5 to the x equals 625. 625 is 5 to the fourth. So x equals 4. Here, 3 raised to the x equals 243. Let's try to get some like bases. Um, 343 is 3 to the fifth power, I believe. Let me just double check. Yeah. So x equals 5. OK, on this one, I have 5 to the x equals 0.2. Now, if you use your fraction to decimal key, your calculator will tell you that 0.2 is 1 -fifth. Well, we know that if we have a fractional answer, our exponent has to be negative. So x equals negative 1. OK, here, 9 to what power equals 81? Well, 81 is 9 squared, so x equals 2. This one, you can use your log key on your calculator. Um, this is base 10. So if you hit the word log and you type in 1 million, you will get 6. On this one, we set this equal to w, and we did the circle move. x to the w equals x to the 7. We've got our like bases, so our log equaled 7. Then on these three, we, um, we just estimated. So what you're going to have to do is kind of play around. Let's see here. Um, 2 to the 8th is 256. Let's see what 2 to the 7th is. OK, so it is between 7 and 8 because 2 to the 7th is 128. And then 2 to the 8th is 256. So it's somewhere between 7 and 8. All right, now log base 3. Um, let's see, 3 to the, oh, let's try 3 to the 6th. Oh, that's way too much. 3 to the 5th, nope. Let's see here, 3 to the 3rd is 27. 3 to the 4th is 81. That's not going to work. I'm just... Oh, here we go. 3 to the 5th is 243. OK, so this is between 4 and 5. OK, log base 8 of 200. Let's see here. Uh, 8 squared is 64. 8 cubed, let's see, oh, 5, 12. So our answer here is between 2 and 3. Now we're going to have a quiz tomorrow, and it's just over some estimation problems and being able to do the circle move, okay?
Now our main focus of today was um, graphing. So we're going to be graphing some um, logs and we're going to graph them right here. And we're also going to be coming up with some equations of logs. So I just wanted to remind you that um, if you have a number that is inside of parentheses and it's next to the letter X, if you're subtracting, we are moving to the right. So if we're adding, we're moving to the left. All right, if we have some number and we're subtracting, we're going to go down. If we're adding, we're going to be going up. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at this graph and we're going to come up with some, some sort of equation that looks like this. So I'm going to show you how to do this. We're going to take our time. The equation that we're going to have is going to have a base of 2. All right. So let's follow these steps. It says draw your vertical asymptote on the graph. Think of this as the new y-axis. How many units was your x how many units was your axis translated? Well, you have to look at your homework first on page 18. And just look at this graph that we did where we had a base 2. Now notice, notice our asymptote was right here. And see how this branch went close to the asymptote? So let's look at, see how this branch, if you will, is getting really close right here to 3. Now it's usually here on the y-axis, but we went to the right. So I'm just going to tell myself what I've noticed. I'm moving to the right 3 units. Okay, So we just did our vertical asymptote. Okay, now we're going to find a point that's 1 unit to the right of our vertical asymptote. So I'm trying to find a point that's one unit to the right. And let's see. Oh, here it is. One unit to the right. Because here's my asymptote right here. One unit to the right. So find the point that's one unit to the right and put a point at this spot. Now you're going to draw a horizontal line through that point. So let's do that. There we go. And we're going to think of this as our new x-axis. OK, how many units was your axis translated? Well, people are, x-axis is down here. Now it's way up here. And we went up 5. So we've got right 3 and up 5. So our answer is going to look like this, right 3 up 5. Now what I want to do is I want you to go to page 18, get some anchor points off of your chart. So again, I'm just using my chart right here, okay? And now I'm going to plot these and all these points should be on this new graph. Now remember, this, these are my new axes, so we're going to pretend 0, 0 is right here, okay? So we're going to go to the half and then down to 1. Then we're going to go 1, 0, which we have. Now we're going to go to the right 2 and up 1, so to the right 2 and up 1. And then we're going to go to the right 4 and up 2, 1, 2. So all of the points from our parent graph are on this new log. All right, let's try another one. Okay, now we're base 3. So first thing you do, we're just going to follow our steps. I'm noticing that our log gets really close to negative 2. So I'm going to put a dotted line there. Okay, all right. Now I'm noticing that my axes. I'm noticing that this asymptote is usually right here. So it went to the left 2. So I'm just going to tell myself what happened. Left 2. Okay, now I have to find the point that's one unit to the right of the asymptote. Okay, one unit to the right. I'm just, I'm just looking for a point that's one unit to the right. Oh, right here. Here it is. 
This is one point from my asymptote. So now I'm going to draw a point through that. There we go. Okay, now my x-axis shifted down one. Okay, so we've got left two and down one. And we are base three. So left, left you're going to have a plus. Okay, so left two. And then down one. So down we're going to subtract. And there's my answer. Now I'm just going to make sure that all these points truly are on this graph. Now remember this is like our new origin, our zero, zero. So one third going down to one, one zero, one two three up one, and then one two three four five six seven eight nine and up two. And there we go. There is my graph. Okay, now that you've got the hang of it, let me just show you um, the answers that we came up with. So here is my new picture. I moved my axes. I went to the right one and up two. And then here I went left and down. Okay, so I went left and down. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go the other way. Um, we've got an equation and we're going to graph it. Well, the first thing that um, I noticed when I saw this in the book, I didn't like that negative one right there. I'm going to move it. So I'm going to rewrite this as f of x equals log base 3 of x plus 4 minus 1. Okay, now before we graph, we got to answer these questions. Is there a horizontal shift? Well, there is. We're going left 4. So let's move our vertical asymptote left 4. There we go. Is there a vertical shift? So up or down? There is. This is vertical. We're going down 1. Okay. Okay, now you're going to plot your anchor points. So you're going to go to page 18. Okay, so this is from our homework yesterday. Now let's plot these points. Now remember, this is our new origin. So we're going to pretend right here is 0, 0. So 1 third, negative 1. 1, 0. 1, 2, 3, 1. And then 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, up 2. And there we go. And now this asymptote now is x equals negative 4. Okay, let's do another one. Again, I'm going to put the 2 over here. So I've got f of x equals log base 3 of x minus 1 plus 2. Okay, is there a horizontal shift? There is. We're going to the right one. So let's plot our new vertical asymptote to the right one. Is there a vertical shift? There is. We're going to go up 2. Okay, so up 2. All right, now we're going to use our anchor points. They're, they're right here. Okay, now remember, this is our new origin right here. So we're going to go to the right one third and down one. And then one zero and one two three one. And then one two three four five six seven eight nine. One two. And there you have it. Okay, so for homework, we're going to try page 20. So let's look at those together. Page 20, problems 12 and 13. Okay, so you're going to write an equation. You know how to do that. So you're going to follow your notes. So write an equation for these. And then 13, graph that one. And then graph that one. Okay? All right, then we're going to look at page 28. 
and we are going to look at our even problems. Now remember, power to a power. Don't forget, power to a power, you multiply, so 2 times 5 is 10. So we're just going to do the evens, and those will be due on Thursday, which is November 7th. All right, I'm glad that you watched this video. Um, that's what people do when they're absent, and so I'm glad you made a really good choice.